teeth have this amazing record locked inside of them. When we grow our teeth, they're almost like fossils already. If an individual died before it stopped forming its teeth, we can count each daily line inside the teeth and figure out how old that individual was. And in some cases, I can be within a week or even a few days of an individual's actual age of death. What I'm able to see is the birth line. That's the dark line here running in that direction. When I use even higher magnification on the microscope, I'm able to see daily growth lines because it turns out that the process of being born uh, is a little stressful inside of our growing bodies and that stress is registered inside teeth. It's a permanent birth certificate. Yeah, there's a number of ways we can study diet from uh, an individual's teeth. One of my research questions is about uh, nursing behavior and there's a special elemental signature of mother's milk inside teeth. Compared to other non-human primates, humans are very unusual because they do um, nurse their infants for a shorter period of time than say a chimpanzee or an orangutan. And the reason that that's important is because that means that mothers can have more babies in the same period of time. There's been this theory that in the past hunter-gatherers, humans that were not growing their food, uh, would have nursed their infants longer. So we're actually trying to test this question here at Griffith to, to really get at, were there fundamental changes with the agricultural revolution? Our diet has changed radically, not just with the advent of agricultural foods, but with the industrial revolution and the presence of um, really soft, heavily processed foods. And we see, for example, changes in our facial structure. Teeth are also a marker of uh, stylistic expression. We see this amazing record of modifications that we think actually says something about status of individuals in the past. We see remarkable examples of um, even jewel inlays, so processes of filing down teeth and making holes. We also have evidence of uh, early dental surgery from 15, 14,000 years ago. I spent eight years at Harvard University as a, an associate professor uh, teaching and conducting research there, and uh, coming to Australia was this amazing opportunity for me to explore a part of the world I had never been to and to get involved in research specifically in the Asian Pacific region, which is really kind of becoming more central to the story of human origins today.